to the Elite Eight. And when you love people, it's amazing what you can accomplish.
Good afternoon. My name is Craig Harms. I serve as Interim Dean of the College of Health and Human Sciences. And it is my honor to welcome each of you to this joyous occasion. Those of us in the college join our students and their families and friends in celebrating the accomplishments of the graduating class of 2023. At this time, At this time, I invite you to join in the singing of the national anthem. Thank you. Please be seated. As I introduce today's platform party, please hold your applause until all are introduced. On my right, your left, President Richard Linton, Dr. Charles Tabor, Provost and Executive Vice President, Amy Button Renz, President and CEO. K-State Alumni Association. Kelsey Salazar, commencement speaker and registered nurse care coordinator, education, University of Kansas Medical Center. Haley Jacobs, student commencement speaker and degree candidate, family and consumer sciences education. Dr. Brandon Haddock, coordinator, diversity and multicultural student affairs. Dr. Bronwyn Fees, Associate Dean and Professor, Applied Human Sciences. On my left, your right, Dr. Brad Benke, Associate Dean and Professor, Kinesiology. Dr. Mindy Markham, Professor and Department Head, Applied Human Sciences. Dr. Tonda Kidd, Professor and Department Head, Universe Food, Nutrition, Dietetics, and Health. Dr. Kevin Roberts, Professor and Interim Department Head, Hospitality Management. Barbara Anderson, Professor and Department Head, Interior Design and Fashion Study, who unfortunately could not be here today due to illness. Dr. Tom Barstow, University Distinguished Professor and Interim Department Head, Kinesiology. Dr. Martin C., Professor and Department Head, Personal Financial Planning. Dr. Shauna Jordan, Assistant Dean and Research Assistant Professor, Food, Nutrition, Dietetics, and Health. <clears throat> At this time, please welcome Assistant Dean Shauna Jordan as she recognizes our spring 2023 student commencement speaker. Thank you, Dean Harms. It is my pleasure to introduce today's student speaker, Haley J. Kiss, who will share a few words today as she represents this graduating class. Haley, would you please come forward? 
Haley will be graduating with a bachelor's degree in family and consumer science education. The daughter of Lynn and Susie Jacobs from Wichita, Kansas, Haley has been a dedicated student while attending K-State, not only to her studies, but to the people and activities around her. Along with her studies, Haley was a sprinter at Washburn University before transferring to K-State her sophomore year. Haley has served as a Family and Consumer Science Education Organization member, EDCAT's social media coordinator, and an early childhood educator at K-State's Early Childhood Center. Off campus, Haley runs her own photography business and strives to document not just the poised, but the real and genuine moments in people's lives. She also prides herself on her commitment as a fan to K-State's football and basketball teams, as she never missed a game this school year. This spring, while completing her final semester as a student teacher at Olathe East High School, Haley accepted a full-time teaching position at Blue Valley Southwest High School to teach family and consumer science education. While teaching, she will also work towards her master's in school counseling. Please join me in welcoming Haley J. Kiss. Welcome, K-State Class of 2023. This isn't like our high school graduation where we all tend to know each other, so allow me to introduce myself. My name is Haley Jacobs, and like you all, I am graduating from the Distinguished College of Health and Human Sciences, but with a degree in Family and Consumer Science Education. As I stand here and think of all the other colleges that are graduating today, some including the College of Business, Engineering, and Veterinary Med, I may be biased, but I am most proud to be graduating from ours. Time and time again, the College of Health and Human Sciences has and continues to produce some of the most kind, selfless, people-oriented people I have ever met. From the students and staff, all the way to the professors and dean who are constantly striving to produce the best education possible for their students. Each one of us should feel great pride in the degree we have chosen to graduate with. Just in this room, we have future teachers, dietitians, athletic trainers, fashion designers, healthcare providers, family advocates, interior designers, hospitality professionals, and that's just to name a few. When you're graduating from the College of Health and Human Sciences, you, right there, are showing your next employer, your friends, your family, your future patients and students and colleagues how much you care for the people around you. Because in our careers, we will always be striving to improve the lives of those around us. I know for some of us, college wasn't necessarily easy for one reason or another, but we got through it, and look where we're sitting today. From the first generation college students sitting here today, the international students choosing our university for a top tier education, the students that chose to go back to college to pursue their degree at the age of 26, 38, or even 65, the students with a supportive team standing behind them to help in any way possible, and to the students that did it all on their own, if someone hasn't told you yet, I'm so immensely proud of you all. I believe as a collective, if we had to go back to freshman year, we would all agree that we would choose Kansas State University time and time again. A lot of us grew emotionally, intellectually, physically, or even financially, although most of our bank accounts would probably say otherwise. Some participated in sports and clubs, some found our forever friends, a life partner, and some of us, we discovered and fell in love with our true selves. Kansas State has provided us with endless opportunities to better ourselves and the people around us. Whether your journey was a walk in the park or you simply hung on by the skin of your teeth, we must all admit how ecstatic we are about this accomplishment. Our friends, family, and the K-State faculty are proud of us as well. But I hope the biggest person that's proud of you is yourself. After today, if there's a few pieces of advice I can leave with you, it would be these. Don't ever let anyone tell you that you have to walk through this world quietly. Try new things, be loud, stand up for what you believe in. Be proud of your accomplishments and honest with your mistakes. Don't let anyone make you feel as if your goals and your achievements aren't as valuable or as important as someone else's. Choose a life worth living for yourself. No two paths are the same. Some are more smooth, while others have lots of twists and turns. But in the end, we all eventually end up in the place that we were meant to be. Thank you. Please welcome Dr. Bronwyn Fees as she recognizes students in attendance wearing cords. Wise words. Thank you, Haley. 
It is now my pleasure to recognize students you see wearing cords today with their regalia. Students who have earned a cumulative grade point average of 3.75 or above are recognized with academic honors. 33 students have received Kuma, uh, cum laude honors maintaining a 3.5 to 3.849, excuse me, 3.75 to 3.849 GPA. 48 students have received magna cum laude, meaning they have maintained a 3.85 to 3.949 GPA. And 56 students have received summa cum laude, maintaining a 3.95 cumulative GPA while at K-State. Would all the students who have received academic honors please stand to be recognized. Awesome. You may be seated. Kappa Omicron Nu is a national honor society that promotes empowered leaders to use an integrative approach to enhance quality of living through excellence in scholarship, leadership, and research. Kappa Omicron Nu students and faculty are wearing a burgundy and cream color honor cord today. Will members of Kappa, Cron Kappa Omicron Nu please stand? Please join me in recognizing these students. You may be seated. Would our first generation students please stand? <laughs> These students are recognized with green cords. As the first generation student, they are the first person in their family to graduate from a four-year college. Some of these students are also wearing navy blue and gray honor cords, and you've seated yourselves, but if you could stand. Let's see who's got the navy blue and gray honor cord. There we go. Signifying their membership in Tri Alpha Honor Society. Tri Alpha members are first generation students with a GPA of 3.2 or above on a 30 semester hours of academic work. Please join me in recognizing these students one more time. You may be seated. Yeah, yeah. At this time, please welcome Dr. Brad Banke as he introduces today's commencement speaker. Thank you, Dr. Fees. It is my pleasure to introduce today's commencement speaker, Kelsey Salazar. Kelsey is a registered nurse, clinical care coordinator, and nurse educator for internal medicine at the University of Kansas Medical Center. As a K-State student, Kelsey was active on campus, serving as a member of the Student Alumni Board, serving, as, serving a term as president, K-State Alumni Board of Directors, Alpha Chi Omega Sorority, and Student Governing Association, where she served as an intern. She also served as president of the Human Ecology Council, was a member of Kappa Omicron Nu Honor Society, served as an orientation and enrollment leader, was a director of Wildcat Warm Up, and was a member of the Quest, Silver Key, Chimes, and Mortarboard Honor Societies. Off campus, Kelsey was an active volunteer, supporting organizations like the Special Olympics, Athlete Program, Up Till Dawn, Relay for Life, Good Neighbors Program, and the adopt -a school Program. Kelsey received her bachelor's degree in Family Studies and Human Services in 2011. 
Please help me welcome our commencement speaker, Kelsey Salazar. Thank you, Dr. Binky, for your kind introduction and for the incredible honor to return to this stage 12 years after one of the proudest days of my life. I am privileged to get to share in the joy the graduates, their families, and their friends are experiencing today. My heartfelt congratulations to the graduates, their families, and all those in attendance today who helped these top-notch K-State graduates achieve their dreams. Graduation day is a day to celebrate the hard work and dedication it took to get here and everyone who helped you along the way. For all those in attendance today and those watching from home, your love, support, and encouragement is what got these students here today. Thank you for guiding these students and helping to make their dreams possible. You have raised some incredible wildcats who are surely going to change the world. Manhattan and K-State has always been and forever will be my second home and the place my kids say is better than Disney World, and I must agree. Growing up in a family of Wildcat alumni, we have continued lots of K-State family traditions. We spend our Saturdays in the fall at football games, attending junior Wildcat events, and never miss an opportunity to eat at kites, make a call hall run for ice cream, and a favorite tradition of my children now, to hit the varsity donut truck. As a student, K-State was my land of opportunity, a time to be challenged, to discover my interests in the classroom, to explore new activities, to learn from our state's top leaders and educators, all while growing as a leader myself and acquiring the skills needed for my future in healthcare. I will forever be grateful to all my professors, advisors, mentors, and the incredible leaders at K-State who helped guide me to where I am today. As you reflect on your experiences at K-State, Take time to embrace this incredible moment in your life and what your time at K-State has meant to you. Remember the experiences, opportunities, the people that have guided and supported you, and the hard work and dedication you have put in over the years to reach your dreams. Embrace the past you have had at K-State and where it has led you today. I was lucky enough to have one of the wisest K-State alumni guide me through my education and career, who just so happens to also be my mom, and I want to share with you some of her wisdom that has set me on my path for success and that I hope will also serve you well in your future endeavors. Never be afraid to change your path. I had a very strict agenda set forth for myself when I came to K-State and later as I entered nursing school, but eventually found out it wasn't the right path for me as it didn't bring me joy. I felt somewhat lost and unsure of what I was really meant to do in life. I changed my plans I had been set on since I was a high school student, and it turned out to be the greatest blessing of my life. I found the work that brings me joy and have been in the same department for nearly 10 years now. It's okay to change your mind, to change your work, or even your career, because your happiness is what matters most. As Lewis C.K. stated, feeling unsure and lost is part of your path. Don't avoid it. See what those feelings are showing and use it. Take a breath. You'll be okay even if you don't feel okay all the time. Embrace the opportunity to start a new journey, to find something new that brings joy in your life. Never let a stumble in the road be the end of your journey, as it may be the opportunity to start a great new adventure. In a world focused on things, focus first on people. Surround yourself with people that make you better. You've had the best of the best people surrounding you, encouraging you, supporting you, and cheering you on every step of the way at K-State. Be around the people who make you better, who make you want to be better and make you realize you can do anything with the right mindset. The people you meet and the relationships you will build in your life can change your, lives, change your life in ways you never knew possible. Try to have an impact on people who cross your path every day. You never know what tomorrow will bring. Remember who you are. When life gets tough, when your hopes and dreams seem to be fading away, remember who you are today and all that you strive to become. Remember this when you become broken, unsure of yourself, face rejection, lose hope, or forget all that you have within you. You are unique and talented in your own way. You are in charge of writing your story, no one else. Every day when you wake up and have a choice to follow your heart and make your own decisions, have the courage to follow your heart and intuition and it will lead you to great things. Find what you love at work and in your personal life. Yes, your work will fill a very large part of your life, but don't forget to focus on the other things that make you happy and enjoy life. Travel, innovate, lead, volunteer, fall in love, have a family, fight for change, 
start your own business, join an organization, find your passion. Life is too short, but memories are forever. Make time to make memories. There is no guarantee of tomorrow, and we can't go backwards. Have gratitude for your life. If there was ever a moment to do things that matter to you, the time is now. Because life is short, we need to embrace it. In the words of Paulo Coelho, one day you will wake up and there won't be any time to do the things you've always wanted. Do it now. And as you grow in your career and realize your successes, value those individuals who got you here today, the relationships you have built, and the ones you will continue to build. Never forget those individuals who supported you, loved you, and challenged you to get to where you are today. These are the people that will always be in your corner, always fighting for you to be successful and to reach your dreams. Make time for those individuals. A quote that I vow to live by from Maya Angelou states, people for will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. You never know how much one person can change your life or you change theirs. Always make time. In conclusion, take advantage of every opportunity, experience, our new adventure life presents you with because you never know where it might lead you and what brings you joy in your life. Work hard, be kind, and amazing things will happen. Congratulations, graduates, and go Cats. Please welcome Amy Button Rins, President and CEO of the K-State Alumni Association, who will bring greetings on behalf of the K-State Alumni Association. I'm excited to join you today to welcome you into the alumni family of Kansas State University and the K-State Alumni Association. As an alumnus, you now join a K-State network of more than 203,000 living graduates. Our mission at the Alumni Association is to lead and inspire lifelong involvement that will benefit Kansas State University and all members of our Wildcat community. Our core values guide us in our mission to help keep you connected with K-State. Our most important value is LINK. We provide the lifelong link that alumni depend on to remain connected. You can stay in touch through hundreds of alumni activities held on campus, around the country, internationally, and even virtually. Another value is tradition. You will likely celebrate a few traditions this weekend as you sing the alma mater for the first time as a new graduate or take KSU photos at your favorite spot on campus. The final value I'd like to talk about today is purple. For K-Staters, it's more than a color. It's a symbol of pride, connection, and family. In recognition of your graduation, the College of Health and Human Sciences, along with the K-State Alumni Association, are providing you with a complimentary one-year membership to the association. We hope you will enjoy the membership benefits and will always be an active member. K-State alumni are among the most loyal in the nation. Our membership ranks in the top 10 nationally for the percentage of graduates who are members. That loyalty is shared by generations of K-Staters who have the same passion for K-State you feel today as you receive your degree from one of the finest universities in the nation. We are also pleased to present you with an exclusive alumni business card holder. As you go through life and your titles and addresses change, please be sure to keep us updated. We want to make sure you are always connected to your K-State family. Congratulations and go Cats. Thank you, Amy. Before you get too comfortable, could you please join me back at the podium? <clears throat> Today is a day of celebration. We are here to celebrate our graduates and all they have and will achieve. Today, we also want to celebrate all of the achievements of Amy. After more than 45 years of service to Kansas State University and the K-State Alumni Association, Amy is set to retire this summer making this her last Health and Human Sciences commencement. Amy has left a lasting impression on our university, and we want to thank her for all she has done. Amy, on behalf of the College of Health and Human Sciences, congratulations on your retirement.
Thank you. Graduates, today is celebration is an important occasion. Your family members and friends, many of whom are with us today, have helped you to achieve your goal of earning a college degree. Will you join me in a round of applause to thank them? In addition, will faculty in the College of Health and Human Sciences please rise so we can thank and commend you also. And now, the moment we have gathered to celebrate, will all the candidates for degrees from the College of Health and Human Sciences please stand. At this time, I invite President Linton to the podium to confirm degrees for the College of Health and Human Sciences 2023 graduates. Well, good afternoon. By the authority of the people of Kansas and the Kansas Board of Regents, upon recommendation by the faculty and upon completion of all the degree requirements, I am pleased to confer upon you the respective baccalaureate degrees that you have earned in the College of Health and Human Sciences here at Kansas State University. You may now move the tassel to the left side of your mortarboard. Congratulations to all the members of the class of 2023. You may be seated. As we prepare to walk across the stage, please be sure you have your grad pass out and unfolded. At today's ceremony, I invite President Linton and Provost Tabor to join me for the presentation of diplomas. Dr. Mindy Markham, will present the degree candidates from the Department of Applied Human Sciences. With the degree candidates from the Department of Applied Human Sciences, please stand and come forward. Dean Harms, I present the degree candidates from the Department of Applied Human Sciences. Degree Candidates in Communication Sciences and Disorders. Lindsay Nicole Taylor, summa cum laude. Lauren Sue Ann Jones, summa cum laude. Annie Catherine Taggart, summa cum laude. Samantha Rose Lashley, summa cum laude. Brock Allen Blessing. Connor Travis Treff. Sydney Margaret Wilson, cum laude. Elizabeth Rose Husky, summa cum laude. Alyssa Julianne Rooker. Jordan Renee Pine. Sydney Nicole Wolken. Cecilia Pearl Eichbauer. Celia Pearl Eichbauer. Bailey Kathleen Ross. Grace 
Isabella Martinez, summa cum laude. Taylor Nicole Lipford, magna cum laude. Emily Hannah Keeley, summa cum laude. Joining Emily on stage is her father, Dr. Steve Keeley, professor of horticulture and natural resources. Cecily Faith Hurst, magna cum laude. Abigail Grace Marie Kugler, summa cum laude. Abby Nicole Bry, summa cum laude. Madison Nicole Gilbert, summa cum laude. Peyton Marie De Meyer, summa cum laude. Janelle Ann Winger, summa cum laude. Hannah Nicole Meyer, summa cum laude. Carly Ann Bandel, summa cum laude. Jenny Marie Watson, cum laude. Claire Annalise Alpo. Claudia Elaine Russell. Bridget Kathleen Hanrahan, cum laude. Olivia Charlotte Hughes, summa cum laude. Amber Dawn Pollen. Kaylee Nicole Bellamy, magna cum laude. Gabrielle Faith Winter, summa cum laude. Gabriela Marie Gutierrez, summa cum laude. Kathleen Marie George. Degree candidates in early childhood education. Mallory Ann Wilson, magna cum laude. Bryn Addison Franzen, summa cum laude. Savannah Morgan Goolsby. Kinsey Ray Smith. Sarah Elizabeth Stuppy, summa cum laude. Degree candidates in human development and family science. Alyssa Nicole Strahl Dra Draper. Lawson McCall Rowden, magna cum laude. Shelby Francis Jordan. Chloe Renee Redder. Ashley Ann Geist, cum laude. Whitney Marie Ford, summa cum laude. Catherine Elizabeth Casita. Avery Humble, summa cum laude. Dennis Patrick Donnelly, Jr. Amanda Hope Smith, cum laude. Keaton Ann Wetzel, cum laude. Emily Dawn Rhine. April Chandra Stewart Neal. Lauren K. Petz. Amanda Catherine Brand, summa cum laude. Camille Lynn Wells, summa cum laude. Jackie Lee Hitner. Janelle Suzanne Kokite.
Desiree Alexa Pitts. Emanuele De Souza Diaz Lopez. Nadia Kiera Gamble. Cum laude. Natalie Marie Craig, magna cum laude. Yurini Lisbeth Mota Martinez. Madison K. Nadir, magna cum laude. Jordan Michelle Harris. Samantha Lee Scrivo. Reagan J. McCune. Demi J. Walters, magna cum laude. Megan Renee Clary. Krista Kate Else, magna cum laude. Emma Elaine Bice, summa cum laude. <laughs> Ashley K. Eccles, cum laude. Angelina Marie Centembrino. Ava Quinn Ford. Reagan Beth Riley, summa cum laude. Anna Jean Whaling. Natalie K. Craig, cum laude. Sophia Lee Spear. Jade S. Byer. Anna Alicia Sandoval, a magna cum laude. Catherine Jamie Doster. Grace M. Loftus. Allison Grace Dale, summa cum laude. Emily Rose Ebert. Ishmael Masood. Kennedy Nicole Bustamante, Monte. Abigail Renee Clifton, summa cum laude. Mitchell David Lenartowitz, summa cum laude. Degree candidates in integrative human sciences. Madison Nicole Moore. Peyton Thomas Quick. <laughs> Degree candidates in Family and Consumer Sciences Education. Emma Kathleen Plankers. <laughs> Catherine Abigail Bozarth. <laughs> Lauren Renee Smith. Haley Elise Jacobs, Morgan Dana Paddock, summa cum laude, Paddock, summa cum laude, Madeline Marie Michelis, Riley Irene O'Brien. Please join me in congratulating the graduates from the Department of Applied Human Sciences.
Dr. Tonda Kidd will present the degree candidates from the Department of Food, Nutrition, Dietetics, and Health. Dean Harms, I present the degree candidates from the Department of Food, Nutrition, Dietetics, and Health. Degree candidates in Athletic Training and Rehabilitation Sciences, Nicholas Dean Stefano. <laughs> Elena Renee Woolock. Ashton Renee Schroeder. Summa Cum Laude. Skyler Joe McAfee Dugan, cum laude. Emma Pichelle. Paige Elizabeth John. Zachary Thomas John, cum laude. Austin James Drake, summa cum laude. <laughs> Jordan Marie Arnold. Brady Allen Hillman. Margaret Grace Williams. Tori Ann Schultz. Caitlin Marie Dyke. Kaleo Nahanie. Elizabeth Vincent. Magnum Cum Laude. Ray Allen Coleman. Megan Irene Fabrizi. Sydney Renee Anderson. Alyssa Maria Marker. Degree candidates in dietetics, Rachel Vale McClurg. Abigail Christine Bar Donnelly, Magnum, Magnum Cum Laude. Abigail Margaret Huddleston, Magnum Cum Laude. Abigail Jane Ritter, Summa Cum Laude. Megan Irene Deventhal. Mary Britton Nelson, Summa Cum Laude. Carly Marie Proc, Cum Laude. Brenna Michelle Morrissey, Magnum Cum Laude. Jenna Elise Ellison. McKenna Mentor Wipert. Cecilio Gonzalez Marquise. Cameron Strickler. Molly Moraine Fain, Summa Cum Laude. Savea Francis Knight, Magnum Cum Laude. Madeline Eleanor Mahalan, Cum Laude. Marissa Danielle Guzman. Degree candidates in dietetics and nutrition and health. Adrian Nicole Orcutt. Carly Janae Burskin, Magnum Cum Laude. Taylor Ann Moore, summa cum laude. Mara Rebecca Fowler. Lauren Ann Hayden. Brianna Nicole Hall. Audrey Marie Ewart. Cynthia Ann Clark. Degree candidates in nutrition and health. Paige Danielle Harris, cum laude. Jonathan Chris Prieto. Max Samuel Salat. Jenna Ann Tellman. Annika Lauren Roy, summa cum laude. Georgia Marie Roth. Megan Rebecca Ebert. Carissa Ann Timish. Lauren Sue Stewart. Katrina Maurer Boffman. Katie Joe Rhodes. 
Alejandra Rose Bouti, Alyssa Marie Doolittle Beeman, Alexa K. Jundle, Michelle Lynn Loader, summa cum laude, Christian Garcia, Demaria Sonye Dickerson, Alana Marie Parsons, Kelsey Lane Miller, Katie Jor Goyle, Julia Ann Wallace, magnum cum laude, Sydney Joyce Stewart, summa cum laude, Lauren Nicole Hook. Alicia Ray Taylor, magnum cum laude. Hannah Irene Wurtenberger, magnum cum laude. Emma Irene Jackson. Stephen Peter Sheehan. Vivian Claire Strom. Alejandra Marie Wright, summa cum laude. Elena Aline Johnson. Ashlyn Marie Stevenson, cum laude. Degree candidates in nutritional sciences, Ali Marie Jensen, magnum cum laude. Brianna Marie Schroeder, cum laude. Rebecca Marie Klink. Emily Grace Bro, summa cum laude. Maggie Marie Osterhouse, summa cum laude. Taylor Mackenzie Johnson, summa cum laude. Jacob Edward Morris. Rachel M. Crook. Lindsay Danielle Newell. Mary Catherine Judice. Please join me in congratulating the graduates from the Department of Food, Nutrition, Dietetics, and Health. Dr. Ke Dr. Kevin Roberts will present the degree candidates from the Department of Hospitality Management and the Department of Interior Design and Fashion Studies. Dean Harms, I present the degree candidates from the Department of Hospitality Management. Hannah Nicole Seck. <laughs> Landis Luke Peterson Beverly. Raven Virginia Esperanza Sino. <laughs> Alex Mary Mackenzie Costco. <laughs> Cassandra Camilla Rodriguez. Chipo Angeline Kambarami. Kendall McKenzie Rintamaki. Natalie Rose Butts. Degree candidates. Please join me in congratulating the degree candidates from Hospitality Management. Do we need to save these? <laughs> Dean Harms, I present the degree candidates from the Department of Interior Design and Fashion Studies. Degree candidates in Fashion Studies, Celeste Renee Graciano, <clears throat> Sandra Marcia. Garcias Allegre, <coughs> Danielle Scott Vanlerberg, <coughs> Megan Rose McConnell, <coughs> William George Elliott, <coughs> Laquasia Shiel Williams. <coughs> 
Ajil Achain Mawen Yor. <coughs> Kaylin Ann Useldinger. <clears throat> Maya Elizabeth Sprague. <clears throat> Morgan K. Purdy, magna cum laude. <clears throat> Anna M. Garcia. <clears throat> Alexia Hope King. <clears throat> Elizabeth Durstein Esch. <clears throat> Degree candidates in interior design, Savannah Leanne Henk. <clears throat> Aiden Cahill Lammers. <clears throat> Alexis Rose Coleman. <clears throat> Delaney Marie Thomas. <clears throat> Nicolette Jennifer Ben Wyatt. <coughs> Blaze Leslie Parson. <coughs> Taylor K. Ruckert. <coughs> Not Quinn Pham. <coughs> Magna Cum Laude. <coughs> Emily Cole Book. <coughs> Ashlyn Noel Smarsh. <laughs> Margaret Catherine Ahern. <clears throat> Sierra Charlene Hovis. <clears throat> Emma James Mason. <clears throat> Madison Claire Fleming. <clears throat> Ashley Nicole Manzo. <clears throat> Mary Margaret Marvin Anderson. <clears throat> Jacqueline Eliza Barth. <clears throat> Please join me in congratulating the degree candidates from the Department of Interior Design and Fashion Studies. <clears throat> Dr. Tom Barstow will present the degree candidates from the Department of Kinesiology. For the degree candidate in Kinesiology, Morgan Horsley. Kaylee Brian Trollopa. Jessica Ann Wellborn. Emily Hope uh, Bachelor. Reagan Ashley Holmes. Stephen Victor Klassman. John Hunter Henley. Henry. Richard Austin Moore. TJ Isadora Minotes. Montez. I need my glasses. <laughs> Quick pause here. <laughs> Jessica Marie Macias. Chloe Nicole Rowe. Jacob Charles Holloran. Madeira Marie Lister. Claire Abigail Detheridge. Sydney Ann Yost. Carly Victoria Anders. Taylor Elizabeth Crawford. Julie Ann Martin. Grace Catherine Miller. Morris Clifton 
meant the fourth. Kristen, Catherine, Marie, Gallant, 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 Lene, on Hop, Jaden, Elias, Antone, Andrew J. Prouse, Cameron James Millahan, Mallory Renee Parsons, Anne Marie Sulzer, Hayden Ray Anderson. Caroline Suzanne Ayers. Tara Paige Yonkin. Cole Nicholas Bell Senior. <laughs> Sorry. Michaela E. Astle. Kira Joe Schwartz. Schwartz. Catherine Lee Hornhill. Kristen Amada Moreno. Antonio Marunda Munez. Hannah Worcester. Emma Christine Van Pelt. Mackenzie yeah. Mc Marie Deckler. Yeah. Reagan Bridget Denier. Yeah. Braden Wade Webb. Yeah. Colton Bastien. Kylie Danielle Brock. <laughs> Kinley Lauren Ibarra. Peyton Grace Bruce. Braxton Jace Donovan. Oh, Madeline May Runnebaum. Magna Cum Laude. Nicole, Rebe Rebecca Nicole M Michelle Mitchell, cum laude. <laughs> the degree candidates in kinesiology and integrative physiology. <laughs> Olivia Midge Elmore, <laughs> summa cum laude. Jordan Riley. Haas. Elizabeth Lauren Rogers, summa cum laude. Cassidy Ann McMillan. Mason Wayne Spellmeyer, cum laude. Jacob Edward Miller. Torian Jean Simpson, magna cum laude. Sydney Lynn Stevens. Ashley K. Lukey, cum laude. Harper Noel Williams, cum laude. Tyler Ethan McCoach, cum laude. Easton Wayne Atwood, summa cum laude. Mason Ryan Kappel, magna cum laude. Jason Carson James Younger, summa cum laude. 
Carter Lee Car Carlson, summa cum laude. Lauren Marie Spector, cum laude. Lisa G. Rogers. Modu Lamon Fabaru, Fabare. Zachary Paul Brandt. Degree candidates in public health. Carson Bell DeWeese. Please join me in congratulating the graduates of the Department of Kinesiology. Dean Harms, I present the degree candidates from the Department of Personal Financial Planning. Degree candidates in personal financial planning, Reed Benjamin Roney. Matthew Anthony Miller. Catherine Grace Mulqueen. Lacey Marie Lewinstra. Hallie Marie Christensen, cum laude. Felix James Kupachinski. Xander Reese Say, summa cum laude. Dylan Robert Berkenshe. Ryan Joseph Kiter. Keaton Reed George. Ryan James Pater Magna Cum Laude. John Cooper Ramshaw. Jason T. Bird. Aubrey Marie Patacek. Sydney Noel Hansen, summa cum laude. Kendall Loray Smith. Michaela Cheyenne Hogue. Paige Ann Gordon. Please join me in congratulating all of our Health and Human Sciences graduates. Graduates, you came to Kansas State University from all corners of the world, and for a brief moment in time, your lives converged in the classrooms, laboratories, and studios of the College of Health and Human Sciences. It has been a privilege for us to help you learn. From here, your lives will once again diverge as you pursue advanced degrees and careers, and as you follow your passions through yet unknown life pursuits. As you start your new lives, I would like to leave you with a couple of thoughts. Do not think of your newly minted degree as a ticket to a specific place, but rather as a passport that can take you to an unlimited number of destinations. Indeed, as a privileged passport, 
Holder, you will have access to places that you cannot even imagine. Embrace the journey, but be generous with your time, talents, and resources. As college graduates, you are a privileged group. Take others with you on your fabulous journey. Invest yourselves in the lives of others, your community, and your alma mater. The College of Health and Human Sciences and Kansas State University are extremely proud of each of you. Please stay connected to your K-State family. We can't wait to see where your journey may take you. Once again, congratulations and best wishes to the College of Health and Human Sciences graduating class of 2023. Go Cats! <laughs> At this time, I'd like to invite you to stand to sing the alma mater for the first time as alumni. At the end of the song, please follow the direction of the marshals for the recessional.